Hi everybody, it's good to have you back and uh, we're going to have another exciting tasting here at Messina Hof. I'm Paul Bonarigo, your host for the wine tasting today. We're going to be tasting four lovely wines. These are wines that are perfect for summer. Uh, you know, you lay by the pool, have a little bit of wine, uh, you know, have a little uh, good times by the pool with great wine. So, and we've also got a new trinket today. This is a new uh, vacuum save that you're going to really enjoy seeing. It's self-contained. It's the pump and the top all in one. So uh, I'll show you that in, a, in just a second. We've also got a wonderful uh, series of upcoming events. One is TGI Wine Sunday for uh, only $15 in advance, $20 at the door. You get to taste 10 wines. Two dries, three semi-dries, three reds, two desserts, and a cheese plate. Can't beat that. Or you could go for the 20 wine premium package, and that's $25 in advance, $30 at the, at the uh, door. And there you have four dry whites, six semi-dry, six reds, four dessert wines. And be sure to bring your notebook so you can take notes. This way you can remember all of those great wines and then you could go into the retail room and just buy truckloads of them and uh, you'll be able to say, I know what that wine tastes like. So that's this Sunday, TGI Sunday. Uh, next is our cooking party with the chef, June 14th. And uh, it's going to be a great uh, uh, meal. Uh, one, what, the one thing that we're going to be focusing on is Mediterranean cuisine. So we're going to be teaching you how to make dolmas, uh, hummus uh, with feta cheese, uh, some wonderful Mediterranean salads. We're going to be showing the proper cooking of lamb and then some fruit tarts. You know, the Mediterranean diet is the most health, health conscious diet that you can uh, consume. So we're going to be looking forward to that on June the 14th. So our first wine of the day is uh, a favorite of mine. It's the un -Oak Chardonnay. 2011, a superb vintage, uh, and here's our um, uh, opener where we take the screw pull, spin it, and it just lifts the uh, cork straight out. Then when you get to this point, you just give it a little pull and out it comes. Uh, the, uh, the, the screw pull is a, uh, a device that makes it practically impossible uh, not to be able to get the uh, wine cork out. So let's put this over here and we're going to pour it through our aerator. Love the sound of that, you know. This is equivalent to about 30 minutes worth of aeration. Uh, 2011 unoaked Chardonnay. Beautiful vintage. The, uh, the fruit smells on this are just amazing. I mean, I, I pick up uh, citrus, I pick up tropical fruit, a little bit of peach, uh, just some wonderful smells, got great color. This wine will keep in the bottle for at least two or three years. Like I said, our new opener, you take this, uh, this is our vacuum uh, saver, you just pump it a few times. Gets hard to pump, and now it's, it's attached. And uh, you've sucked a vacuum, this wine will keep for three or four weeks. If it takes you three or four weeks to consume this bottle, please send me an email, wine at messinahop.com, and we need to talk because you're not consuming enough wine, and because you're not consuming enough wine, your cholesterol level is too high, and you're not going to be as healthy as you would be if you had at least a glass of wine a day. So, a salute to you. This is a wonderful little Chardonnay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I tell you, this is a great example of what Chardonnay should taste like. There's no wood, there's no other flavors that are interfering with that lovely, clean, crisp flavor of Chardonnay. This wine is crying out for some nice um, uh, shrimp. Uh, it would be great with a little bit of fettuccine, uh, a, you know, just a, maybe a little chicken piccata, you know, that little citrusy lemon flavor, the piccata aroma. 
with the un oak chardonnay. Just a beautiful, beautiful combination. I love the smell of this wine. And it's so well preserved now. You can see it, it's, it'll be ready to go uh, the next time I decide to have some. It'll probably be just a little bit after this taping. So the next wine we're going to have is my favorite uh, rosé. It's called Mama Rosa Rosé. Uh, and guess who that's named after? That's named after my mother. Mom is uh, 90 years old. Uh, we have such a great time together. Uh, we were together last night. She's a stitch. Uh, every time we get together, she just makes me laugh. Got a great sense of humor. I'm taking her to the Dominican Republic. So if you hear about an international incident in the Dominican Republic, it's my mother. Uh, so we're going to be taking her down to the Dominican on the 26th of June. We're going to be there just before the 4th of July. And naturally, the reason why we're going is because it has a casino. That's the major reason why mom uh, likes to go on these trips. So now we're going to uh, uh, take our next wine glass, put it underneath here. Always recommend using the uh, aerator because it does create an openness to the wine. The beauty of this wine is the color. Uh, the color on this is fabulous. Uh, and if you don't have an aerator, I do recommend that you use one of these foils because I'll show you something. When you have a foil and you have a glass and when you pour, it pours in a clean edge so you don't drip uh, drippings all
Wow. I mean, this wine will probably age beautifully for the next 20 years. It, it, it just has great tannins, wonderful fruit, a nice hint of oak. So it's just a real combination.